Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy and I have for you today a finished jewelry update from the Softflex mystery packet, Be Kind. And uh, the colors were lovely, beautiful teal greens, lemon yellows, you had the mustard yellows, some beautiful cream colors. And so with this design kit, I made two necklaces and I made four pair of earrings and I made three bracelets, which you can stack or wear separately. So to get started, I think we'll go through the earrings first. They're simplest, but also really cute. Of course, we got this beautiful lemon quartz soft flex wire with the mystery box and the Jesse James Beads Be Kind bead mix. And I had also purchased the Be Kind strand so that I could have plenty of options to play with. So right in here are those cute little disco balls with the stars in them. And I used the soft flex wire. They're very simple but cute. I just wanted the focus to be on this because it's just so darn cute. And I'm going to try to take some pictures in the sunlight because this really is so sparkly and cute. And then these earrings have those beautiful check drops that have the Picasso finish that picks up all of the mustard yellows that were in here. I did add some Hishi beads, but these little green Hishi beads came in the um, Jesse James strand. And then these Tierra Cast little bees, I just fell in love with them. So I used the Tierra Cast honeycomb components and I made a little seed bead drop with some, some seed beads I thought coordinated kind of cute. And then I added the little bees and then I used some really uh, cool oval ear wires and I thought those turned out really really cute I knew I wanted to feature these in earrings uh, these drops were just so gorgeous and then of course Tierra cast pendants you just can't go wrong and I thought that just picked up the theme beautifully and then here so what's interesting about this pair of earrings these bees came in these Jesse James beads mix these drops here really have like the honeycomb pattern. I have had these drops. I got these out of my stash. I have had these probably 10 years and was delighted that they went with such a cool theme. So I had to pull those out. And then I put them with these beautiful check table cut um, aqua beads with the Picasso finish. And then I had some agate in an English cut that look literally like chunks of beeswax or honeycomb. And so I pulled those out of my stash. They just went so nicely with this theme. So you will be seeing those uh, sprinkled throughout my projects. Uh, and they had the, the green in them and everything. I mean, they just, they worked out so perfectly. So little chunks of honeycomb. I thought that was really neat. And, um, and then, of course, these Czech ladybugs are darling. How can you how can you go wrong with a Czech ladybug? You can't. And I just put those on some French ear wires with the bicones that came in the mix and the rondelles, these really pretty sparkly yellow rondelles. And then these little leaves I had also in my stash, and they just went so nicely. And, you know, usually when you see a little ladybug, they're, they're hanging out on a leaf, so... That was kind of my thought with those earrings. And those turned out really nicely. And then over here, this necklace, I wanted to challenge myself to do something unique, a little bit out of my comfort zone with the wire um, because it is so supple and so easy to wrap around beads. And I just wanted to feature the color. And so I found this little pendant. I think I got this at Bargain Bead Box at one time. I had this patinaed brass component, which I have a lot of patina brass beads that went with this. Like I've added some here 
but these all came in the mix. Here's my chunky agate again. And the bead caps came. And uh, those beautiful lemon uh, beads. Let me get closer up here so you can get a good look at the detail. These are the beads that I thought looked like little squished pillows. <laughs> and then of course the really sparkly um, green beads. And then I love these that look like the bit of honey. I do think of honey when I look at those. And then the pretty coin beads. And then I pulled in some more patinaed beads. And then those really pretty oval beads. A couple more seed beads. And some of the um, mustard yellow and the off-white check beads. So yeah, that turned out really nicely. And I love how when you wrap these, the beads stay put. And I didn't have to use any uh, crimp beads. I do love using the magic tool and the crimper that looks round, uh, but because I was only using one wire, I I just wanted to see how well that those would stay put. And I have to tell you, my little experiment, um, it succeeded. So this is an idea if you get some soft flex wire, um, and just wrap it right around the bead and you can slide it up and down to adjust it, which makes it real easy. Like I said, the it's so nice to work with because it's so supple um, and then it stays put. So um, that was really a cool necklace to make. And I love the color combination. I think it's very rich and uh, I think it screams summer and spring. And you can get the feeling of honeybees and honey and sunshine and summer all in one piece of jewelry without it being over the top. So that was that necklace. And then um, my bracelets that I made. So I love these box clasps that came. And I believe I bought this chain at Jesse James Beads at one time or another. And it went so perfectly again with the collection that um, you'll see on the other necklace, I used it as a layer and then I used the box chain and then here, I made a little dangle with some more of the beads. And I picked up more of the little bit of honey beads and the bead caps I put around the uh, chunks of agate. And those, those really fit nicely in there. These came with the Jesse James mix, but it was really a cool match. And... Um, a little lobster clasp so you can adjust it and I thought that turned out really nice and then here I took that beautiful tiara cast B button and made a button closure with some seed beads and again I just did a whole variety of things that came in the mix and things that I had in my stash so those turned out nice and what I like too is you can stack them together if you want. You know, they look really cute stacked. Or you can wear them separately. I just love that color combination. That that color green has just enough blue in it um, that I was able to use aqua colored beads and they looked fantastic with it. So very interesting green color. And then over here, I used quite a few components I had. I had this queen bee um, patina pendant for quite some time. And I never knew what I was gonna do with it. So like I said, when I got, when I got this mystery box, the theme just lent itself to me be, to be able to pull out things out of my stash that, that I've had for a while, but haven't been able to use. So that's another cool thing about these mystery boxes and ways that you can make it your own. And then um, I used the twisted components that came in the box, but that round kind of um, moon-shaped piece I had for a while. I believe that came possibly from a, a bargain bead box. And then these components here, I don't know where I got those, but I've had them for a while. And then of course I wanted to show off the soft flex in that bright yellow again. And I did a whole layer of beads, and I did use the crimp beads this time, 
as you can see. And then I used this chain that I used in the bracelet. And then I did more beads, those crackle beads and the mustard beads. Uh, I used the little seed beads that I had and that just turned out, I love the layering on it. And then these little cage beads up here, oops, I had a long time and they just went so perfectly. And then I love these flower beads, the detail. And then I used the lemon yellow rondelles. So yeah, that, that whole necklace, it didn't, it, it was a little bit complicated to put together. If, if you do it strand by strand, which I, I've been asked to do a tutorial on how I do my three strand necklaces, and I that I'm gonna do for you all. So I will show you how to do that, um, how I do it. And so stay tuned for that tutorial. But this is how I interpreted the Be Kind mystery box from Softflex. So enjoy, enjoy the colors. I really want to get these on a mannequin with some, some yellow clothing to see how cute they are in the sunlight. So I'll probably post some more pictures on social media, my Instagram and my Facebook. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this and it inspired you. And um, as always, I just appreciate all the comments and the, the nice compliments. I hope I'm inspiring everybody. And what can I say? Be kind. Have a great evening. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. And I will see you on the next one.